Hello and welcome to this week's Aldi haul where I found a bunch of fun things and a couple things are repeats so I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and let's get right into this week's Aldi haul. All right, I'm gonna start right here with the breakfast bowl meat lovers, basically frozen breakfast meal. So Tim has been going out of town so much recently for his job and he is going back out of town. So I thought I was gonna get him something easy to heat up before he has to do a long drive and have something fill his tummy. So I thought this would be good. It has 24 grams of protein, so I feel like it's gonna keep him full. And it also has potatoes, eggs, sausage, cheddar cheese, and bacon. You only have to heat for three minutes and it's good to go. So I feel like Tim was like, I need something quick, easy, but also that's gonna keep me full before I get to the office. I did get the donut bar flavored ice cream desserts again because I loved these, so did Tim, and the strawberry flavor really won our hearts, so I got the strawberry flavor again. They still have the uh, vanilla and chocolate one as well, but like I said, the strawberry was so good, and there's something about these sprinkles on it. I don't know what it is, but the sprinkles just really make it for me, and I like that strawberry flavor. It's really nice, so grabbed those again just to have on hand whenever I want a little sweet treat. And then Tim obviously loves his ham, so I got him some more ham, and he's gonna be making sandwiches for his little trip because he doesn't have a lot of food options, and this is just like a quick, easy thing. He'll pack a lunch and have food while he's in the office. So got some ham for him. Also got him some more of this Habanero Jack snacking cheese. We bought this a long time ago. Tim really liked it, and I thought this was like a good, perfect snack to take on the go. Um, and so you'll see a theme here. A lot of these things I got for Tim so he can have something to take with him for his little business trip. Um, and then this is included, the Cracked Pepper Steak Strips, which is something that he wanted. He wanted the Cracked Pepper one, so grabbed him this big bag. It is a very big bag, and at first I thought it was kind of expensive, but then I realized like beef jerky in general is very pricey. You go to Costco and you get a big bag, and I swear they're like $21 to $24, so I feel like all these prices are actually very fair and reasonable. So Tim got this for his trip. Now these are one of Tim's favorites, the Cheddar Brats, and they're on sale this week, so I grabbed a pack just so he could have. We are throwing a little 4th of July party, so it's always nice to have some things that we can grill and um, things that are like easy. Hot dogs, obviously, super easy and perfect to have for 4th of July. Speaking of 4th of July, I couldn't pass up their cute 4th of July napkins. They also had plates and other things, but I really liked that these napkins just looked so fun and festive and perfect for kids and adults, so I got this. And I love that they're in a huge pack. A lot of these um, seasonal napkins that you can find at Target, at any pretty much any store you go to, other than Costco, of course. They're in the smallest pack, like eight napkins. And I'm like, what? How? Who is only using eight napkins for a party? I guess if it's just you and your family, but if you're having like a party or anything, eight napkins just ain't gonna cut it. So I like that all these, so it gives you like a bunch of them. I don't know, how many does it say? 40, yay, 40 count. That's more than enough. And I mean, if you have kids, eight napkins, usually for one child isn't actually that far off, especially if you're using them throughout the day. So I'm glad to see that they have a big pack of them and they seem very reasonably reasonably priced. Now I also couldn't pass up the peanut M&Ms for 4th of July, the red, white, and blue. I always have a little Little bowl out that I put these M&Ms in but Tim's begged me not to get them so I stopped getting them but like I said we're having a fourth party so I thought these would be nice to just have out on the table for everybody to come over and enjoy um, and they're perfect because they're very festive this was an impulse buy this is something I'm I went shopping with my six-year-old Benson and 
I asked him, I'm like, should we get these? And he's like, of course. I'm like, of course he's gonna say that. But I will say we love Sour Patch and I've been trying to avoid all the sweets, but clearly I did such a terrible job in this video. So just bear with me. I, I did kind of get what I wanted. So these are the red, white, and blue Sour Patch. And let me show you, I couldn't, once I read the back and the flavors, I really am curious to try these because I don't think I've ever had these flavors. Blue raspberry, lemon, and, ra and red berry. So I feel like that's a really fun combo. And I have a weakness for sour gummies. So grab those in a huge bag. I'm also going to put these out for 4th of July too. So that way, hopefully most of the bag is gone and I can just taste test them. Um, they had these Ritz toasted chips for in the aisle that has like random stuff. And I thought, hey, why not? I'll try them. They also had just the plain ones, but I got the cheddar. I feel like Tim and Benson like the cheesy stuff. So I felt like the Ritz cheddar was gonna get eaten more than the plain. So I grabbed those. I also had to get a little something something for my doggos. So I got this cute zebra. They had a bunch of other ones. They had a sloth, they had a turtle, and they had, I wanna say it's like a giraffe, but I'm not sure. But I liked this because um, it's a rope. My dogs will chew the stuffing out of any toy within three seconds and it's like a total waste of money. But I like toys like this where they um, sew in a rope so that even if they do, they will tear off the head and the stomach, but there'll be a rope so they can still do tug of war and still play with that. And also this is an interesting toy because it has these hard, I think they're plastic little... Um, I don't know what they are. They look like rawhide bones, but I think they're just plastic for the dogs to kind of grip onto or chew. And I have one dog that is a big chewer, so I think she's gonna really like the little legs on here. And each one of the toys had these hard plastic things. So if your dog's like mine that likes to chew, play tug of war, this is probably a really fun toy. And it was $5, so I thought it was a nice little gift for them. I got more brioche hot dog buns. These are a now a staple in the house, and I literally can't find them for cheaper anywhere else. So all these where it's at for the brioche bread products because they're quality and they're super affordable. So how to get those. I got Tim a ba basketball. He got a basketball hoop for Christmas this past year and um, he's been playing a ton and they had this really fun red, white, and blue basketball. So I thought how fun, this would be perfect. And I just grabbed that for him to have with all of his other basketballs. It's not like he needed it, but he doesn't have a red, white, and blue one, and I guess I'm just in the festive for the July spirit, um, so I grabbed it for him. Now, Benson wanted these juice fulls, mixed fruit flavored juicy fruit snacks. There's 14 in here, and he's had them before. He liked them, but he just got introduced to Gushers, so he was like, I like Gushers. Um, but he then he decided last minute, he's like, you know what, I want these, so he grabbed them and put them in the cart for us to get, so that's for Benson. I got, also just got a couple pastas. Again, such an affordable price for these, under a dollar. Like, in this economy, what? Under a dollar, and it's just like the basic, tricolor rotini and the penne regatta and i like that um, both of these are easy to fork for my younger child because i know i like spaghetti a lot but i've learned that um <laughs> when you're six and you try to eat spaghetti it turns into a huge mess more of it ends up in his lap and i'm doing laundry for days trying to get pasta stains out of his pants and his shirt so I've just gone to the pastas that are a little easier to get on a fork and eat for him until he's old enough to start eating the spaghetti um, without dropping it everywhere so that's why I grabbed those I also asked Benson if he wanted some jam because he's been having a lot of almond butter jelly sandwiches recently and Trader Joe's doesn't have their watermelon jelly out or jam yet so I thought this would be a good one. So actually Benson picked the strawberry. There was strawberry, raspberry, and blueberry, and he went with the strawberry. So that will be for his sandwiches. And then I found this really awesome honey lavender coffee. It looks, 
I mean, I, it just caught my eye. You know, it's it's a pre-ground coffee, but I thought it sounded really interesting. I've had a lavender coffee before and I really enjoyed it. So I'm curious to see how this is gonna taste. Here on the side, it is a light blend coffee and it says it's aromatic honey blossom flavor and sweetly herbaceous lavender are an unforgettable combination, rich, floral, and unique. So honestly, it's the bag that sold me and I like that it's honey lavender. It's super interesting. I haven't really seen a coffee like that other than going to like a specialty coffee shop. So I was glad to pick this up and give it a go. I also grabbed two more of these little um, pasta entrees that they sell. This is just a quick, easy meal um, for when it's like a night that I don't have dinner planned. So I got the Parmesan cheese. This is Benson's favorite. And he hasn't eaten this in probably months um, because it's like once every three months he'll he'll have it and then he's over it. So got that. And then I also got the shells and white cheddar. We haven't tried this one yet, but it reminds me of his favorite mac and cheese by Annie's. Um, so I just got that to see if he'll like that. So got those two. And then the last thing I grabbed are the bags of chips, the Frito-Lay bags of chips. And I just grabbed this because as I was leaving, Tim's like, can you please get me some small bags of chips to take with me to the office? So I just grabbed this bag and I know it's it's very expensive to get these individually wrapped bags, but um, for the convenience factor and for the fact that Tim requested, I just went ahead and got them. We have bought these before from Costco, which I think is a better deal and you get a lot more options, I think. Maybe not, maybe it's the same amount of options, but I know Tim really likes the chili cheese and they don't have those at Costco, so got them from Aldi. So that's it, I put the cold stuff away already, but this is like Aldi little mini haul. And who knows, I might add some more to this because I am shopping on a Monday and I feel like I might go back on Wednesday and see what else they have to offer. Three days later. You know I had to do a second trip, of course I did. So I only got a couple things in this trip, but I got some good stuff. Starting here with this thin crust, creamy jalapeno popper pizza. I feel like Tim is going to love this, but also there's no meat, so I can try it too. It's a thin crust topped with creamy roasted garlic sauce. Okay, yum already. Jalapeno and green peppers, green onion, mozzarella, and cheddar cheeses with breadcrumbs. So this looks incredible, and I think Tim and I should definitely try this in the taste test this week so we can tell you guys how spicy it is because it might be pretty spicy, but it looks good. So I grabbed that. And I got another pasta because this one just looked fun. These noodles are like the, the kava toppy noodles, but I just call them the squiggly noodles because they look squiggly to me. Um, but I just had to get one more. I don't know. I'm a, a weirdo when it comes to preparing and over preparing in my pantry. Also got some organic low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese. Um, I feel like this will be really good just by looking at the shreds. They look really fine and soft. And I really like the low fat string cheese. So I feel like I'm gonna like the low or like part skim mozzarella cheese too. So we'll see how that goes, but I just wanted to get some and it's organic, which is great. And then look what I found. Aldi has the baked lemon ricotta cheese, just like Trader Joe's. And I wanted to do a comparison between the two, however, Trader Joe's doesn't sell their baked lemon ricotta until the holiday season. Um, although last year, I do think it came out twice in one year, which was really weird. But um, anyway, it's not available at Trader Joe's right now. So I just thought I'd get it. And I remember what it tastes like from Trader Joe's. So I can do a comparison um, with my memory. And we'll try this in the taste test as well to let you guys know. This packaging is super cute. And it just seems like it's really, it's nice and tight in there. Nothing's going anywhere. The Trader Joe's ones could get squished so easily. So I like that this one is kind of squish proof in a way. I also grabbed these for Tim. These are the mini pepperoni pizza cones. Um, this is the first time I've seen them. They're frozen. They have obviously pepperonis, mozzarella, provolone cheese with tomato sauce. And I felt like Tim would really like these for just like a grab and go snack or like a lunch one day. And there's eight in here. So we'll see how he likes those. And then the last thing I grabbed was some wine and I got one of my faves is this 19 Crimes Cali Red with Snoop Dogg on the label. 
Um, initially, and I've talked about this before, I thought this was more of like a gimmick wine with a celebrity on it and making people want to buy it just because of the celebrity. Well, they did get me because of the celebrity, but I also really love this wine. It is incredible. It's one of the best. And for $8.99 at Aldi, I mean, I have not seen that price for this particular wine. I don't think ever. So I definitely bought two just seeing that price point and just knowing how much I love this wine. It's super yummy. It's perfect for 4th of July if you want to have some wine. I'm actually going to be making sangria for 4th of July. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this. This seems like a little bit too nice of a bottle to add stuff to. So I'll probably get some other wine, uh, red wine that I'll use instead. So that's it. This is what I got from Aldi for the second trip. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.